Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of a traction test. Uh, I have here my Kubota L3901 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up this, uh, this little mound here um, in four wheel drive, no counterweight on the back. Um, all I have for counterweight is the fluid that's inside the tires, okay? So the tires are filled um, and I'm going up in four wheel drive. I'm also going up in low gear. So that was pretty cool. Um, I was uh, so much surprised that we were able to actually go up that big of a plant uh, without, you know, without any weight in the back. I had to go, you know, I had it in low gear, um, and you know, I, I was pretty light on the pedal, right? So basically, I was being careful not to spin out my tires. I'm going to pick up some counterweight now. I'm going to pick up a thousand pounds, and we'll see how much easier it goes up that hill. In the snow. Actually, before I put on the counterweight, let's try two-wheel drive. I think that would be interesting. So we're going to try no no counterweight on the back, two-wheel drive. Let's see how that goes. two-wheel drive did not get very far that's as far as I could go and I could see that the, I could feel that the wheels were spinning at that point so let's load up some weight I got a thousand pounds of counterweight here let's see how we do with that So that definitely felt a lot better. Um, the first time when I went up, 
when I didn't have the counterweight where I was also able to make it. To, I was able to make it at the top, but there was a little bit of spinach in my wheels, and I could almost feel my tail uh, fish tailing just a, a little bit. And uh, the thing that comes to my mind when the tractor starts, you know, when I start spinning the wheels and I start fish tailing a little bit on, a, on an incline like that, my worry is that my tail kicks out, the tractor's gonna turn sideways. And if it turns sideways on an incline like that, um, you know, now you're at risk of flipping over, right? Because tractors aren't really good up on going up inclines like that side, you know, you know, staying on inclines like that sideways. With the counterweight, I was able to go up that incline, um, never lost traction even for a second, and I, you know, I never felt my tail uh, swimming out, and I felt a lot more secure. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the tractor into two-wheel drive, and we're gonna see if we can get up there uh, with that counterweight, okay? Um, now, something to keep in mind is every time I go up these, up, go up that hill, I'm making a point of not going in the same tracks, right? Because I'm not going, you know, basically I'm driving through fresh snow every time I go up there. Um, I'm not going into the tracks, into the prior tracks. Okay, so let's go two-wheel drive. Showed you guys where that position was. That's in the two-wheel drive position. Right? And I'm able to go up that hill. What I'm gonna do is uh, this side over here is a little bit more of an incline. Let's try this side over here. Let's see if we can get up this hill over here in two-wheel drive. Good 
demonstration of where with the counterweight and two wheel drive I can go up that. Let's hit that one more time. That was fun. Let's, I'm gonna move the camera over here. Let's do that one more time. some interesting experiment here some interesting experimentation uh, the first time when I tried to go up in two-wheel drive um, what I did is as I was going up the hill I felt that like my bucket was a little high so what I did is I I actually lowered the bucket as as it was going up the hill um, and what happens by lowering it my 
my real wheels jumped up a little bit and I lost traction and then I lost any momentum I had. Um, so that's, I think, the reason why that attempt that I made on the other side to go up in two-wheel drive got stalled, right? Because I kind of stopped my momentum, I dropped the bucket. Uh, because you want to keep your bucket as low as possible, keep that, uh, you know, keep your weight as low as possible. Uh, the next time when I came out and I tried it on this side, um, uh, I, uh, you know, I, had, I started off with the bucket lower. I started going up. I did see the wheels spinning a little bit. Um, but what I did is, I, I, w w when the wheel starts spinning, I actually took my foot off the pedal a little bit to s actually slow down the wheels. And then I saw, I saw, I saw them catch, and you know, I, uh, I got my traction back. Okay, so by actually putting less foot on the pedal is what got me up the hill this this last time I, I attempted it. Uh, so I think that was a really interesting experiment. But the, the thing that really comes out of this is you saw the two-wheel drive. With the weight, I'm able to get up there. Four-wheel drive with no weight, I can't get up there. You know, uh, so that counterweight in the back makes a big difference. And I've uh, I, I've gone through different phases. At one point, I had 500 pounds on there. At, at another point, I had 700 pounds back there. Um, and now I have a thousand. At each at each phase, right? Every time I up the weight, I definitely got an increase in traction. Also, like when I'm working in the mud, I find that my front wheels. Uh, are less prone to sinking into the mud. Those, those front wheels, when you when you lower up the bucket, they kind of slice into the mud like like knives almost. Uh, but I think this was a real interesting experiment. I've been wanting to videotape this uh, um, uh, for you know since the early fall, and I've been looking forward. This is the first uh, you know we finally got some snow where I can try this out. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you're not a member of my channel, subscribe, hit the bell button so you get notifications. I'll talk to you guys soon.